Tag Detective. Uh, is this settings? Okay. Control settings, I don't like grants. Audio mode. Okay, well, um, narc mode on. What is narc mode? Anyway. I thought it said mark mode. <laughs> you know, very briefly, that's it. We're gonna be fucking cool like Mark and we're gonna put it in Mark mode. Uh, normal, how to play, control settings, how to play. Detective McQueen closely chases, closes cases by talking to characters and solving puzzles. Left click to examine items, change locations or talk to characters. Right click to skip dialogue. Uh, left click on inventory items for more information. Drag items into the scene to use or onto each other to combine. Hint, McQueen can sometimes wear items. Progress is auto-saved as you play. Please do not quit the game while the save icon is displayed or your progress may be lost. You can also manually save from the in-game menu. Okay. Alrighty, well. Da -da -da -da. I'm gonna do one more thing before I do this. Alright, so we have done that. I am like totally charmed by how quick that first game was over. Like, short, sweet, to the point. I liked it. I, I am all for like short. I like short. Obbles! Good Eve. We've already played one game. Would you believe it? The first game was literally two seconds long. But, alright. So, if you guys want to know more, I thought I would pull up this. Um, da -da -da. So just for some more information, and then it's got all of the games. So the game that I just played that was quite quick was uh, I'm Burying You Alive, but you can leave it anytime if you really want to. And then now we are moving on to Dark Side Detective uh, Season 2. Um, <clears throat> sent me a DM. Oh boy, is it a, is it a gif of me screaming? Because that would be relevant. Anyway, okay. So this... Sorry, I am looking for one other thing. My apologies. Let's go creep up on Aaron. Let's not! You stay the fuck downstairs. <laughs> 2100 is 9 o'clock, right? Am I dumb? So I was like, I'm pretty sure my time slot's at 9. No, yeah, that's not nice, high voltage. <laughs> I swear to God. Anyway. Got a bit buzzed, so you're awake-ish. Nice. I has no booze. Okay, so let's... How do I... Uh, funfair dismissal. Case summary. Blackouts across the city have led us to Vince's Funfair, where surges seem to be emanating from. Okay. Just you wait. Fucking god, I'm gonna just gonna keep doing this and stream like this the whole time so you bastards can't sneak up on me. Anyway, we're gonna go to a creepy fun fair. What could possibly go wrong? This is pre alpha, also. Hence, demo. The uh, first season of Dark Side Detective is currently with Twitch Prime Gaming. Or Twitch Gaming, or. Whatever it's called. Oh, great, a giant clown. Time for McQueen. Okay, we're here. Now to see if this place really is where the power surges that are causing the blackouts across the city are coming from. Let's put no, do not. Officer Dooley, looks like the trail has gone dead. We better check the next place on our list. Did you not 
What do you think just happened a moment ago? What? Did something happen when I blinked? Ah, uh, yes, a completely oblivious cop, totally not paying attention. Jeez, that's so very stereotypical. That's exactly what happens all the time. A cab. Anyway, <laughs> blinked. We don't have eyes. Oh, God, fourth wall blinking, my favorite. Don't you oppress me? Oh, oh, God. Okay. <laughs> You're not oppressed, officer. <laughs> You're a white man. Anyway, we enter the carnival. Let's let's talk to Vince. Hey, Vince, detective officer. What a white rice high rise. Okay, what? Sai a white rice. Nice high rise surprise. What flings brings um you all the Shakespeare? Oh, is he Cockney? He's got to be Cockney. Because otherwise none of that makes a lick of sense. Still at the rhyming slang, I see. We're here about the power surges. They're causing blackouts across the city. I mean, it's my bread and butter. Bread and butter. This was not a good rhyme. We're here about the power surges. They're causing blackouts across the city. Oh, you hear about the shower splurges. Power surges? That's, <laughs> that's some roast beef, governor. <laughs> Can get yelled at for this accent. I thought you were here about the hissing seawall or hissing seagull missing people. That doesn't even rhyme! That's not, this isn't how Cockney rhyming slang works, Vince. Uh, did you say missing people? No, I said hissing seagull. Eh? Alright. But you meant missing people. Oh, you'll see locksmith. <laughs> okay, okay. Mm. We should investigate, Dooley. Let's never just have a nice day out with you, is it? All right. Hair dye. I'm not translating that one for you. Okay, let's talk to this family. Detective Fish. Great to see you here. Brought the family to the fun fair, eh? To it, yes. Into it, no. <laughs> Wasn't a sex positive war game from the title alone? It was not. Um, it took 30 seconds-ish for me to get like devolved or dissolved into a potion and then the next time I booted up the game and was like all right let's see what happens if we leave and then the witch was like okay goodbye and then the game also auto closed I was like that was probably worth the three dollars I donated on itch.io but it's pleasant to look at but little Shelly is already getting over exerted by being here I don't know she's got a little sassy tappy toe and her hands like this so I don't think little Shelly is over exerted at all can we go in now? Or right, she's at it again. Off the bloody handle. Keep it up, Shelly. Just keep it up. It's so help me God, I'll take out the taser. There really is a cop. It's threatening violence for no reason on what clearly looks like a minority. Why is she like this? Are we to blame? Did we do something in the past life? Okay. All of this is making me want to play the other one. So that's a good sign. Gag! Is her name Fresh of Fish? Fresh. Her name is Fresh Fish. Oh, I hate it. But I like it. But I hate it. Detective McQueen. Are you going to be okay, kid? Yeah, they just have high stress jobs. They'll tire themselves out in a minute. We'll go on the roundabout. Roundabout ponies? Do you mean the marrying around? All right. Uh, posters. Come and see the greatest lineup of rarities and oddities ever seen. Only at Lady Farnival's Frivolous Carnivals. <laughs> I like this game. The Shaved Lady. What is she doing here, you ask? Shouldn't she have a beard? Exactly! That's why it's so odd. Come stare at her smooth and clean jawline and gasp in confusion. <laughs> this is fucking amazing. See, Mikey Monkey Boy, descended from chimps, watch him use tools and communicate with others of his kind. And fear Mr. Complete, half man and half the same man, he'll astound you with his wholeness. <laughs> Jeez, detective, maybe you need to investigate this place for strange goings on. Alright. Did I ever mention that I don't like clowns? I don't either, Detective McQueen. I think this is going to be an unpleasant case for you. Hmm... Jump leads might be helpful. Jump leads might be useful in an electric electricity-based mystery. Wow. Oh, I got jump cables. Okay. Um, big wheel. 
I don't understand why anyone would, by choice, leave the ground. What dark secrets are they running from? We're going to end up there, aren't we? Not that big of a top, is it? More of a medium top. Oh boy, okay. Uh, well, I guess we've clicked on everything that we can out here, so... Stop taking things from our car! We still haven't replaced the nightstick from last season. Alright. What's going on here, then? Uh, Jacob, the elephant broke down. That's it? You're gonna try and deliver that sentence like it's perfectly normal? It's normal enough here. We don't have an animal mechanic. There's a warm glow coming from this mains box since that last surge. Not sure I want to touch it. Note. Animals, please do not leave the circus. Pretty please. Animal handler. What's with the mechanical animal? Vince has gone vegan, so we released all the animals. As you should. You shouldn't have animals in the circus. Oh, that's where the lions in the park came from. There are lions in the park? Why didn't you report it? They weren't causing any harm, they were just lying around. <laughs> Oof. I think I was going to do I pass. Oh. I didn't see that one. Although I didn't look very hard. Apparently I didn't look very hard. They weren't causing any harm, they were just lying around. But seriously, I was too scared to tell anyone. Okay, well. Games. Do I... Why did we have jump ropes in the car? These are jump leads, John, not jump ropes. Still. Want to see who can get the highest score? No. Okay. Um, broken elephant. It seems to have been overloaded in one of these power surges. If I want past it, I need to find a way to replace the burnt out wiring and then restart the motor. All right. Well, I'm guessing we're not going to get that from here. It was in, I feel it not as if, oh no, why did someone do this? Ah. All right, row of ducks. Ooh, duckies. Where's ducky? Where is she? I need her. Imagine the size of the egg that monster hatched from. Yeah, it's certainly impressive. Very bells and whistles. Bells and whistles, it's a duck. Kid. Get the funny colored one. It looks tasty. Oh, but I don't think you eat it. It looks angry. Fishing lady, I cannot believe you dragged me here to fish for ducks. It's, I'm going to ruin my outfit. Fancy a go, then. All right, now I'm on a mission to fix an elephant. How does one... Did, uh, lick an elephant. Nice one. I recommend some applesauce from experience. Did fix an elephant. Why does everyone try and do cockney Run. Run. Slam? Oh my god! It's a stampede! This looks indie AF. <laughs> Funny you should mention. <laughs> Derp. Beer a medical? Beer a medical? Are you a bear with a medical license? Because if so, I have questions about where you got your degree. I'm very curious about your qualifications. Qualifications, because that's a type of bear. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll see myself out. Nah, 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 nah. Zero tech, derp. <laughs> this appears to be independent more than other things might be. Silvertown, thank you. <laughs> Jeff, how did your time spinner showcase go? How did all your streams go? I was lurking for a bit. LPN and currently taking paramedic classes. Oh, nice. I wanted to be a nurse and then I remembered that I don't like blood, so that wasn't gonna go well. Uh, this is Dark Side Detective season two, pre-alpha demo. We have already played, even though we are 24 minutes into a stream, already played one game and got both of its endings. So I can finish over 10 minutes faster and I lost by five minutes. I mean, you were racing against Ducky, correct? Like, none of us stand a chance against her. She's just goddessly at that game. Free Enterprise was garbage, a really terrible seed. Uh, Worlds Collide was garbage, a really terrible seed. <laughs> Sensing a pattern. I'm sorry, my friend. See, I was thinking about a radiologist or like someone that does x-rays. But then I got a psych degree instead. Urza! Could have won. I should have won. Aww. Well, you know what, Jeff? I still love you. And I stand by my earlier assessments that you are the best, Jeff. And you know what? Don't... No heckin' name calling. You're gonna love yourself, damn it. Or so help me God, I'm gonna come down there and I'm gonna hug you. 
And we're not allowed to do that right now because of COVID, so don't make me do that. Anyway. How does one wind up working in a carnival? Where's, uh, this game is so far filled with, uh, puns and pixels, and I fucking love it. Same way you end up working anywhere. You give up on your dreams and hand in an application. That's far too fucking real for me to handle right now. Psychology, we want to be a counselor, but life stuff happened. Uh, you feel my pain. <laughs> I has a psych degree. I use it every day, at least, but... This uh, this is far too real. Rhyming slants. It was it was an interesting attempt at Cockney rhyming slang. I I will give it that absolutely. That was more real than I was expecting. Welcome to the real world, guy. All right, later, Gator. Okay, they didn't give me much. So, bear medical. Oh, I get it. Bear medical. Paramedic. Oh my God, that's such a good username. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Missed by a couple centimeter, and I think I fried the USB ports on the front of my PC case. Oh. Jeff. That's it. I'm getting on the... Oh, well, the borders are closed. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swim across Lake Superior, and then I'm going to walk, <laughs> and I will come hug you, so help me God. Anyway, the whole premise of this is this is like a point-and-click detective puzzle noir type game. Uh, that we are trying to figure out what was causing all of these power surges at uh, uh, all throughout town. And um, yeah, here we are with uh, people that tell us really, really bad puns. So, oh boy, I did it. That's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to click that button. Okay, anyway. Da 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 da. Okay, need to stop accidentally closing things. Anyway, a point in Aaron go click. And yes, it is a pre-alpha demo. Yes, Urza, you will love it. There's been terrible puns. And uh, yeah, I'd, I used to live in Ontario, like right on Lake Superior. From what I remember, it's probably very cold. All right. Oh, Clown Town. I don't want to go in Clown Town, you guys. I don't want to go there. Anyway, let's talk to Norman, the hot dog guy. Hot dogs. Get your hot dogs. Hey, Norman, I guess the eggnog business is seasonal. I'm guessing he's in the other game that I haven't played. Nah, mate, somebody took all my milk. Nobody wanted to drink just eggs, so I was let go. Try to tell him that a food vendor is for life, not just for Christmas. But they was having none of it. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. No worries. Thankfully, this carnival came to town. As Mama says, when God closes a door, he sets up a circus. Uh, all right. You're scared of clowns, but of course you are. <laughs> Quit clowning around and get your ass to clown town. Clown town. That's where my wife met her husband. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Oh, God. <laughs> it's over town. Thank you. Uh, between the pun name Bear Medical and all of this, I just, ugh. You guys are making my Halloween. How's Agnes? Mom's good. Her artisanal microwave stew business, stew only <laughs> lives twice, is taking off. She's got employees and everything. She's even branching out into catering weddings. Who knew stew would be so popular? Mama knew. That's why she set up the business. Weren't you listening? One hot dog, please. What flavor do you want? What do you have? Vegan. Is that a flavor? Probably. <laughs> Want any sauces with that? Oh, no thanks. Good, mama was all out, so I just have empty bottles. On my lunch break, I'm gonna refill them in the nearby cafe. I bought a soda there once, so I got free refills for life. I'm gonna have some people that hang in my chat. How did that happen? I don't, I mean, I hang out there. So it's not everybody, but most. It also feels weird to be actually playing a game full screen. I never full screen game, so I have to like look over here for chat. I'm not used to it. Anyway. All right. I don't think that's how that sh Here's your hot dog, mate. I received a hot dog. This is just a bun. Well, it's all vegan here, isn't it? I raided mom's fridge, but she only had meat. I figured who'd even notice. You're a detective and you didn't even notice. What? I just called you on it. Mate, it's a hot dog bun, not a telephone. This guy! <laughs> <laughs> You're 
Aaron's Halloween is so great that she got to play a game that was brutally scary. I thought I was going to pee my pants on stream. And I'm thankful that I didn't, but it was this close. <laughs> Hang out there sometimes, so I pretty much balance out how uncool Aaron is. This is true, Lefty. Uh, the rest of Pacify uh, Phase 2 with uh, Big Bertha and the Chickens, um, not scary at all. Once we figured it out, I was like, oh, this is fine. You just throw a poisoned chicken at her. This is this is all okay. But um, the first round with the ghost girl and the dolls, Jesus Christ, that... That was scary. I'm surprised there were not more clips of me screaming. Backspacer was concerned that I was going to lose my voice and not be able to do this stream because I was screaming so loud. <laughs> the dolls, the dolls was too much. The dolls, the dolls was far too much. I mean, you can clip from the VOD. I'll probably go back and do some clips for tomorrow, but anyway. Is this the same stand you were using when you were selling eggnog? That depends on if you work for the health and safety board. Because if you do, those dried eggs and cream stains are part of the uh, hot dog making process. The toucan. That right there is a toy of a green... Arakari? Sorry, that's too confusing for me. <laughs> eh? The dolls were terrifying, and there were good dolls, Bear, and there were bad dolls, and you had to burn all the bad dolls and give the good dolls to the ghost girl, and if she killed you, she turned you into a doll, which was a terrifying process when it happened, um, but as a doll, like, she didn't really attack you anymore, um, and you were, like, this big and you could jump really high but you couldn't like interact with anything so it was kind of a bummer but it was it was very fucking scary and urza had a perfectly timed clip that i really thought i was going to shit literal bricks of fear <laughs> you're better than that all right what's an octopus octopus stop being so greedy one push should be enough for anyone <laughs> unless you're the president then you grab everyone by it am i right <laughs> sorry too real Bazinga. All right. Trash Panda. Is that a purple raccoon? Eh, I washed it with the octopus by mistake. Why'd you need to wash it? It's new, surely. Yeah, but it got into the trash. Get it? Raccoon? Trash? Eh? I found it in a bin. <laughs> Sphere Boy. What's this guy grinning about? What does he know that I don't? The secret to life. And don't call me Shirley. Shirley, you must be joking. They're selling this crap. You've got to be squidding me. I feel like that button is going to get used a lot through the rest of this playthrough. Eh? Eh? My kids made that. Oh. Doesn't make it any less rubbish, but it does mean we can't point out that it's rubbish. Child labor laws have changed a lot in the last century. <laughs> Pink Teddy. This guy again. Dooley, do you have any holy water on you? What? I don't trust this guy. Detective, get a hold of yourself. It's a toy bear. Hmm. I'm on to you, bear. <laughs> Look, this is clearly Barney. The fun game is making me regret being awake. No, it's not Obbles, and you know it is. <laughs> Camps. Also, Jeff, circling back to something you said, like, what feels like 20 minutes ago, is this not the greatest lip color ever? It's called Screamer. It's by Sophia Nygaard X Color Pop, and I wish I had bought 20 of them. This is my favorite lip color of all time. It's awesome. And I only really wear it around Halloween anyway. How much would it cost us to get you a snare drum and a cymbal and have you learn to do a rim shot for real? <laughs> so, have I told this story before? Thinking of the drums. I wanted to play the drums in elementary school band so bad. That's the only instrument I wanted to play. I thought drums and percussion was interesting, and that's what I wanted to do. And Mr. Powery... Um, in his infinite wisdom as the band teacher, uh, told me that girls don't play drums. And even though I auditioned and was better than the other two boys, uh, they got chosen as drummers. And so I picked up the equally delicate, um, sexy, and feminine instrument of the alto saxophone. 
So I really would love to learn how to play the drums. And piano. It's like goth, but also good for going out to dinner. The Kemp's, you have described my ideal aesthetic. Like goth, but make it appropriate to go to Denny's, if that makes any sense. Like cheaper mall goth. Anyway, I, we didn't talk to this robot first. Mm, does that guy work? Oh, he works all right. He has all the chirps and whistles you could ever want from an automated killing machine. A what? A normal non-threatening robot. Hmm, maybe we could use the circuits from this thing to rewire the elephant. Oh, we got the circuits and a hot dog. Pecan pie and a pile of ready whip because self-pity requires pie. So you didn't hear me thank you for uh, the amazing compliment on my lipstick because I do like it. I mean, do you think that drums reproduce by the boy drums spraying rim shots on the girl drums eggs? <laughs> Left. Fall off. <laughs> if I could pull a full cup. Has anyone seen Patton Oswalt's newest uh, stand-up special where he's talking about Denny's and he just wants to do Denny's next ad where it's like, it's either dawn or dusk. I've either been up all night or I'm a about to be up all night and it's just 30 seconds of him with a cup with the Denny's logo out like the coffee mug just staring out the window at the rain and like the camera pans closer and closer and closer to his face and then in the last like two seconds he just goes it's always sunny at Denny's and then that's the commercial <laughs> thank you for the compliment Jeff I will wear it uh, when I finally get to do my Jeff cosplay in person and <laughs> timing 10 out of 10 uh, that clip is probably going to scare me all over again. Anyway, we got to talk to this dinosaur. We actually have no clear idea what dinosaurs look like. Well, this friendly purple one has been popularized by television and are admittedly plausible based on skeleton findings. Any number of variations on this are possible. They could have been chubbier, spinier, had feathers, been an image implanted in your mind by the lizard overlords so that when the day comes that they shed their human skin, they're condi <laughs> we're conditioned by the media to welcome them. What? You said any number of variations was possible. I mean, not that one, Dooley. Brown bear. Ooh, I want to cuddle that guy so bad. All right, let's roll up, roll up. I'm going to give for a loved one. Happiness guaranteed. Go on then, give me a go. You might have something useful here. One ball coming up. If you can knock over my cans, you get a pick of your prize. I got a throwing ball. Maybe we can win something here that would be of use. We'll do a... One of Tin Can Alley's throwing balls. Are the throwing balls so different to normal balls? Based on my experience, they're less accurate and aerodynamic. Are we still talking about balls? <laughs> the sheer yelling from Tempest. You just stop at Denny's and it's amazing the different kind of people kinds of people in there. Give me giving USB malfunction devices, so guess what I'm going to start? Oh, God bless Wef. Is Wef cosplay a part of WeffyCon? I feel like I missed that in 2020. No, um, I should actually go put on my Wef costume. You know what? It's Halloween. I'm going to go put on my Wef costume. Um, I will be right back. Uh, 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 left, because you have the most, uh, icons next to your name you're in charge i will be like five minutes you guys will appreciate my masterful jeff cosplay
Okay. Eh? Look, I'm Wef. I have a Coke Zero. And whiskey. It's not Maker's Mark. But it's Fireball. So this is my Jeff cosplay. <laughs> Forgot when I bought this shirt that um, men's shirts are cut really weird. So I was like, oh, this is the size I need. Wasn't the size I need. <laughs> and then I put on the quarantine 15 and then, uh, you know, now it's, now it really doesn't fit. But we're gonna do up one button and just hope that the microphone <laughs> covers the white t-shirt that's on underneath it. But hello, fellow gamers. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Jeff, happy Halloween. I'm you. I don't have Maker's Mark, I'm sorry. I just have Fireball. I wasn't prepared. Anyway, we're gonna have to go to Clown Town. <laughs> I know, it's all I had. I wasn't gonna use it, my, <laughs> I wasn't gonna use Akintoshin. For this, <laughs> for this joke. Yeah, I regret that I bought this shirt in the size that I did. Because, uh... Because, eh. Quarantine 15 is fake news, you look great. Mon Bon! Thank you. I needed that. But yes, thank god for this, like, purposely placed microphone and undershirts. Anyway. <laughs> you missed a lot of puns. And you know what? I might as well open this and drink both of these. Fucking happy Halloween, you guys. Good night, Obbles. Happy Halloween. Have a wonderful night. You're delightful, and I appreciate you. Thank you. All right, let's talk to the sad-looking man. You look like a glum guy at a fun fair. Well, I, you know, I'm a competition guy. I enter competitions. Lots of them. Law of numbers. You enter enough, you're gonna win. I have a stamp with my info to speed entering... I have a stamp with my info to speed entering up, you know? And an auto dialer and a P.O. box. I know all the tricks. All of them. I'm always winning stuff like boxes of chapsticks. Want one? Or posh baby strollers. Or tickets to seances. Right? And well, I won 97 entry tickets to this place. And let me tell you, it stopped being fun somewhere in week three. I've even gotten an attendance warning from work. All right, microphone. I need you to do better things. Thank you. Why don't you just bring friends or give them out or not use them? My man, that breaks the code. You win a thing, you gotta use it. Otherwise, you're robbing from somebody else. Why do you think I drove here in a child's pram? <laughs> Edward 40 hands with Coke Zero. Oh boy. Air, that's my shirt. I know, it's a great shirt. <laughs> uh, it was nice to meet you, Bear Medical. Thank you for the follow. Hopefully we see you again. I look forward to more puns about bears and um, information about EMTs. Dream of pie. All right. Uh, but how do I throw the ball? Be of use? Well, I want... Okay. So, but how do I... Get this... Oh, okay, click and drag. What? Are we both going to throw it? And uh, maybe I'll just do it myself. Hey, that shot was right on the money. I love how this dude's name is Griff. Oh, a celebration? I don't know how those work, but thank you. What, is something happening? What's happening? I can't see it on OBS. <laughs> well, what, is ha what ha happened? I don't know, I'm so confused. But thank you. It's a celebration, Wef! There was a lot of kaboom. Nice. I like kaboom. There's going to be an earth-shattering kaboom. Ah, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Maybe I just- Wah! Oh, jeez! It's a stampede! TBS! They fixed raids! So they all alert again! Thank you, Jesus! TBS, hello, I am Wef Jebster for Halloween. You thought you were raiding Aaron Gobra, but no, this is I, Wefri T. Jebster. Controller works after the restart! God bless you, everyone. My uh, Xbox controller is still fucked. My middle initial is A. Weffery A Jebster? The, is, is the A for awesome? <laughs> I've never seen the two of you in this. You haven't. Because WeffyCon was canceled, unfortunately, because COVID ruins all of my fun for forever. It's no use. I'm not strong enough. All right. Come on. Well, can Officer Dooley? Hey, how are the blood wolves getting on? Okay, I really want to go play the first one. 
Great, I've entered the pack in the Little League. None of them can hit the ball yet, though. Maybe I throw them too hard, but it's important to listen. Something, something, curveballs. Want to give it a go? Sure, I like throwing stuff. Nice! See, the cop's good for something, being a brainless meathead. Aw, oh, man, you've beaten my stereotypically rigged tin can tossing game. I guess you win a prize. What do you want? The biggest teddy bear you have! No, Dooley! We need the robot! Stupid good for no cuddle, no good for cuddles, robot. Are we done here? Can I go back to running a fair game here? Seems so, thanks, and sorry. I got the robot! <laughs> and this is legally distinct from Barney Dinosaur. You're not gonna make me search all the bins again this season, are you? No, okay, fine. It stands for Alan. Ah, oh, the other spelling of Alan. So close! In full view of the internet, but oh my god. Jeff, you are a gentleman and a scholar, and I love you very much, and I will not be here uh, to have you besmirch the good name of Weffrey A. Jebster. Weffrey Andrea Jebster, you be nice to yourself. All right, swear to God. Okay, let's go to Clown Town. Oh, uh, no. Clicked out of the window, and I have to bring everything back up. Andrea? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I love the petting zoo. I hope they are tigers and spiders and all sorts. No, 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 Officer Dooley. You want to pet that stuff? Oh, no, wait, wait. Is that what a petting zoo is for? Yuck. Dooley, if any clowns come at me, I need you to taser them. No can do, detective. I'm a friend to the clowns. You're supposed to be a friend to me, too. I know. This is a right Sophie's choice. What? That's not... Have you seen the film? No, I wanted to go, but I was sleepy and wanted a nap. Another tough Sophie's choice. <laughs> I want to just, I want to get a meeting one-eighth of my pecan pie, but that'd be a bad idea. <laughs> Fuzzy spiders are not great. I, you know, air, we all know how well Aaron fares with spiders. I'm very thankful that Pacify had no spiders. And yes, Jeff, I love you. Just, you accept that we love you. It's not a Sophie's choice. <laughs> Riff really wants to zig a zig ah. Creepy clown car. Hmm, I could use this to jumpstart the elephant if I can find the keys. All right, so we need to find keys. Let me go back to, all right, fine. I guess I'll go into the clown court. I don't want to go into clown court. <laughs> all choices are real Sophie's choice. It's too many clowns in here, I don't like this. Right honorable judge duty. And how does the defendant plead? Loudly and often, your honor. The other clown's name is Mary Payson. As in Perry Mason. As in, oh my god. I am in romantic love with this game. There's a laugh track! Oh my god. This is fantastic. I'm so happy right now. I can't, I can't even with all of this. All right. Ta-da! Let's... I clicked away from things to check something and now I'm back, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Bory sack baser. All right, clown judge. Why is there greasy face paint smeared all over this? The courtroom sketch artist ran out of paper. He just, then he just ran out. Want the job? That seems easy. N no. Court is in session, and I will throw the book at this guy's. It's staying that way. Then throw it already. Enough clowning around. <laughs> I've lost it. Where? Was last seen on the hook in the nook by the brook until a wandering duck and utter crook took the book. Now we don't know where to look. As a result, I'm terribly shook. Oh, I hope you understood this gobbledygook. Oh, bye bye. I was convinced my publishing company was going to be called Spoonerism Inc. Jeff, I love you so much. The Phoenix Wright trend of meaningful names. He only has a 100% success rate because he only takes on clients with names like in a cent. Clown defendant. What are you accused of? I will. My client is accused of clowning around on the job. But. But he's a clown. That's what I said. We clowns take the business of clowning very seriously. Clowns have no business clowning around on or off the clock. Not even next to or under the clock. 
No clowning around in the vicinity of clocks or clocking around in the vicinity of clowns. It's so serious you'll notice the lack of bumps, laugh tracks, or otherwise comical sound effects here. Comedy is no laughing matter, at least not to clowns. <laughs> well, too fucking bad, Mary Payson. I've got my own rim shot. <sighs> the clown's name is Leaky Britches. Oh my god, I'm fucking this is so good. Is that your car outside? Yep, but I can't talk right now. I'm busy defending this clown. Am I right? Give me, give me your keys. Hey, are you trying to take my place in the choir? What? Because those are my keys you're trying to steal. Hands off. <laughs> Did you just raw XD? Jeff, this is why you're my best friend. How do we fill these balloons after the helium ran out? Not ri- We use the defendant's own hot air! <laughs> How can this be a fair trial with such a biased judge? A fair trial? This is clown court, not some whimsical land of make-believe. <laughs> Too real. Alright, okay. Um, I mean, I guess there's not much else I can do here because he won't give me, he won't give me that. Okay. Anyway, this, this game is amazing and I'm so happy. Anyway, um, I'm sure this robot's not going to kill us. Mallbot 5000. Warning, do not feed the criminals. What are you doing here? I thought you worked in the mall. Mallbot wanted to follow dreams of being entertainer. First stop, Clown College. Second stop, Hollywood. Then Mallbot takes over world. All shall bow before Mallbot! Okay, hello, Tam. Behind bars again, Tam. Is he just whittling a potato? What is he doing there? Tam was arrested for trying to steal candy from a baby. It ain't as easy as Tam was promised. Tam feels lied to. I should really start doing voices. I think this is the voice that Tam gets. There's randomizers all the time. Jeff, we can bring that back. It's not too late. <laughs> Shouldn't have taken that big of a sip. Sorry to hear that, Tam. Can I borrow your knife? Will Tam get it back this time? Last time you took his knife, you didn't give it back. Of course. Well, all right, then. You received an item. What's that? A knife! No! Well, you might not get it back. You are in clown prison after all. Tam feels double lied to. Hello, giraffe. Couldn't we get what we needed from this bot? I'm not pulling out this guy's mechanical heart. I'm not a big gear hunter. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, well. Um. I think that's all we can do. Look how small these cages are. Not fit for animals. Hey, Tam has feelings, you know. Okay, I think that's all we can do here. I mean, Tam seems trustworthy, even though he tried to steal candy from a baby. Uh, that was different than I expected. <laughs> no, 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 okay. So do I stab you? Well, that was no fun. Okay, so I don't stab you. Babies don't have rights. Okay. Um, do I have to... Oh, wait. What if I... Do you want a vegan hot dog? Need to quit clowning around to get back to my investigation. Okay, clearly I don't have what I need. So... Uh, okay, we've already exhausted all the dialogue. Oh! Well, this has changed. Fancy a go, then. Uh, okay, what? Did you eat my sister, Mr. Duck? Hey, kid, where's that lady you were with? She went whoosh and bye-bye. I think the big duck ate her up as a revenge for Sunday dinner. It was very nice. I don't really mind. Fair tribute, I reckon. All right, Emma. Well, let's take this hook. Hmm, she was holding this when she vanished. I guess it's evidence now. I've got a hook! <laughs> Stab everyone. Yeah? Isn't that how you resolve all your problems? Just shank them? I've had a fair bit to drink this evening. Gotta hook you, hooker. Leon! Hello, beautiful. How are you? How, how was my favorite flower? I've been drinking whiskey straight out of the bottle, so... <sighs> I'm also dressed as Jeff. In a shirt that doesn't fit. Jeff fits his shirt quite nicely. Um, I am not a men's small, apparently. <laughs> the These make it hard to not be a men's shawl. Men's shawl? Wow, Aaron. Are you 16? She's gone, but her clothes remain? Question mark. 
Judge mentioned hooks and ducks. Maybe a book is around here somewhere? Uh, let's see, you go then. I already have a hook, thanks. So I get paid commission by the hook. Go on, take them all so I can clock off early. What about everyone else who wants to play? Sigh, fine, I guess I'll just wait here for everyone else. I don't know the lady that was with this kid. Big flashlight and then she was gone. Must have run off when faced with her failure as a duck hunter. Mind the girl while I look for the missing wound. Fine, I'll mind her, but she's not playing for free. Uh, I take the hook. Yeah, row of ducks. Here goes nothing. Did that duck just fly off of the book. No chance, pig! <laughs> Howard the duck also says all cops are bastards. <laughs> Leon, I made a spooky charcuterie board and I posted it in the Discord and I'm so fucking proud of how it looked and it was really fucking good. After raids, finally got the exit screen so fucking see we care left up the other room and just smear all of this off with cold cream. Yeah, I, I forget to do that sometimes, TG base. You look amazing. Wef should get on my level. I, I mean, I want Jeff's beard. It is glorious and it looks soft is it soft jeff is that a weird question to ask someone with a beard shark spookery left that's why i love you people i'm getting oddly emotional i think um pacify brought up all of these emotions and now they're just like <laughs> it scared me and now i'm like i need to tell everyone that i love them anyway rude and unexpected really that was exactly what i expected would happen fair so how do we do we give the duck the hot dog if i just give it to him how will i get the book back maybe he'll trade no chance dum-dums Aw. uh do i stab the duck with a knife i need to quit climbing around okay i don't just ah! do it make your dreams come true thanks Urza. thanks Sivertown has a magnificent beard. <laughs> Don't stab anyone important until I'm back. All right, well, let's... What if I do... Let's try that again. Okay, no. It's still the same duck. And it's not going to give me the book in the bag. No, you keep flying away. I need to find a way to make this more enticing. Well... I don't know. All right, well, there's some... If we went past the... Uh, if we want past the elephant, we need to fix it first. Okay, so everything that I need to fix the elephant is all over here, so. Oh, then there's shell strap, which meant dinner was just cocktail, shrimp, earlier Halloween decisions, made lunch potatoes and molasses because song was stuck in my head. Potatoes and molasses? Um, well, <sighs> all right, um, you think is I'm gonna go back to running a fair game? Okay. I love tin cans for one day. My dogs don't like being out in the rain. All right. Uh... Okay. Um. Show the book of this guy is staying that way. Throw it already. Enough clowning around. Okay. Okay. Um. You think this is a circus? Yeah, it's not gonna work. Okay, shit. Um. Fine. So. There's some combinations of items. I'm gonna give you the robot. Nope. Hot dog. Okay. Um. So we can't go to the rides if we can't get past the elephant. So apparently, like, clearly everything I need is... I have. But, so what we are trying to get from the duck tea base is... The duck flies away and has this book. And we need the book so that the clown judge can throw the book at the clown defendant. Um, so that then we can get the keys from the clown lawyer so that we can use the clown car to jumpstart the elephant and use parts from the robot toy that we picked up to put into the elephant to move so we can get on the rides. Um, 
And these are the items I have. The jump leads, a vegan hot dog, uh, a robot toy, a knife, and the hook. And when I, like, use the hook, my ability to use any other items goes away. So, here we are. Knife the hot dog. Well, that was no fun. Okay, that doesn't seem... What are you doing to Tobot? Okay, well, now I have circuitry. This in here? And these wire will place them with these for a much smaller machine. I'm consistently surprised how easy it is to rewire things in this world. Wouldn't draw attention to it. You might jinx it and we have to wait a few days for a real electrician to show up. Okay. Seems I've been overloading one of these power surges. The burnt out wires are replaced now to find a way to get the motor powered up. Okay. So. Um. Okay, so we still can't go by the elephant. Did I talk to... Okay, I have talked to you. Poured a shot and a half of 110 proof. Jeff, cheers. Do I want ideas from chat? Um, I mean... Normally I'm very much like, I'll do it myself, but like, I... Click away. Where'd where'd my chat go? Okay, there it is. I panicked for a second. I was like, where's my fucking chat? It disappeared it itself. to do a thing. Okay. I think something for me, Kentucky. Not that bad all the time. Most of the time. Truth is shot of tequila, but pretty space out. Oh, I can't do tequila. Um, okay. Um, okay, we've talked about all of these things. We've talked to you. Okay. Um, Isn't Mitch McConnell your senator? But he also has like corpse hands. So mm. I think I'm all this right now. Aaron, I said I don't! Okay, I'm sorry. Ernie? Ernie? <laughs> okay, anyway. Um Okay, so it still does that. Okay. If someone has a suggestion, I am all for it. Because I... <laughs> uh, get good. Kemps, I don't know what I would do without you. Thank you. It's a deal with ducks. What do you mean? Like, they're part bird, part fish. They defy biology. I don't think that's right. You're right. I mean, the little fish bird is right there. So it can't defy biology. It does boggle the mind, though. That tickles. Ugh, stop that. No touching. Okay, fine. Okay, I'm such a me. Hook the bread. Left! You brilliant motherfucker. All that flapping around must have left you hungry. What's... What's that you have there? I was gonna try and do Donald Duck's voice, but I can't. I can't do that. I'm... Quack! You received an item, judge's book. All right, entrapment, entrapment, I'm calling my lawyer. And anyway, now we can go save this clown. There you go, judge. Thanks, stranger, and I'll put an end to this farce. By the powder infested in me, mostly this wig, I declare you guilty. 
Ow! Do that Donald Duck voice again? No, Papa wouldn't be upset with me if I tried. You're definitely not saving anybody. Stop taunting me and go back to... I almost said Minecraft, but you're playing Mario Kart. I blame the fireball. Oh yeah, it's a duck named Howard, T-Base. Howard the Duck. And this is a clown named Leaky Riches. I declare this case closed. Court dismissed. Can I have your keys now? Hey, those are my keys. I'm very attached to them. Can I have them anyway? Eh, why not? Really? Sure, I'm a clown. I'm erratic. Same. All right. So, now we do this. Okay, let's drive this over to the elephant. One second, everybody out. I don't like the idea of a clown named Mr. Rubs. Now, there's multiple reasons why that's not a good clown name. And I don't think I need to list them. That is up there with a local clown in my town whose name is Uncle Chris. And I don't... I don't like Uncle Chris. It creeps me out. I think his name is creepy, and I think his whole shtick is weird. <laughs> Detective McQueen can say ka -chow! when driving. <laughs> oh god. Maybe Mr. Rubs just makes good barbecue. What the? Shuffling sounds. Okay, you can take back the car now. Or you can take the car now. Thanks? <laughs> Oh my god, the honka honka. That put me instantly to sleep. Alright. Should start by connecting to the car first. Health and safety. Always even in pixels. Okay. Clip this here and that there and then voila! Voila? Voila! We have a power source. No need to get all French about it. Okay, let's start this car and move that elephant! Painful revving. Wait, what's that smell? It's overloading! That's good, right? I'm sure it's fine. Everyone get out of the way! Or not. Oh man, that didn't fix it. That didn't fix it at all. Sorry, Jacob. That's not great, to be honest. Alright, well. <laughs> Everybody's drinking whiskey now. What have I done? Oh, no. Whoa, that stampy elephant tried to mate with these horses. Far out! Tommy, I don't think that's what happened, and I think you're stoned. Oh, dear. This is quite the mess. Bagsy, not helping with the cleanup. What the hell? It's me! Shingles the clown. Okay. Shingles! Shingles are no laughing matter. To be continued. Ah, okay. Well, that was the Dark Side Detective Season 2 demo. That was fantastic. <laughs>